The 30-year-old Australian man, who allegedly made a bomb threat on a scoot flight, is set to plead guilty at the end of the month. Hawkins' Kevin Francis allegedly made a bomb threat while on board a scoot flight on October 12 from Singapore to Perth and is set to plead guilty on December 22. He was charged in court on October 14. During the flight in the afternoon of October 12, Hawkins had allegedly informed a male cabin crew member, I have a bomb. He also repeated the word bomb to a female cabin crew member. Because the plane had already departed from Changi Airport, the aircraft had to turn back with the escort of the Republic of Singapore Air Force RSAF fighter jets because of the threat. In a Facebook post on October 12, Defence Minister Ng Ng Heng thanked the RSAF team. She wrote, Earlier this evening, two of the Republic of Singapore Air Force's F-15 SGs were activated to escort a scoot flight. TR-16, back to Singapore Changi Airport due to a suspected bomb threat on board the aircraft. The flight had departed Singapore and was en route to Perth. Our fighters escorted the airliner till it landed safely at Changi Airport. Francis appeared in court through video link on Monday, December 18, where Defence Counsel Dylan Surinder Singh represented him. District Judge Brenda Tang set Francis' date to plead guilty on December 22. Anyone found guilty of making a false bomb threat could be jailed for up to 10 years or fined up to 500,000 Singapore dollars, or both. Earlier this year, in August, a bomb threat was received at the Environment Building on Scotts Road. This building is known to house the Ministry of Sustainability and Environment MSC and its statutory boards, the National Environment Agency NEA and Water Agency PUB. In an interview with Channel News Asia, a ministry spokesperson stated, preliminary checks were done by the police and security officers at the environment building and no threat items were found. According to the police, the incident falls under a case of communicating false information about a harmful thing. Multiple sources said people were allowed to leave the building but not enter it. There was also an email sent to employees at 10 in the morning saying that the building would be under lockdown. But people could leave if they wanted to.